Hi everyone, welcome to the Bioinformatics course channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install Java on a Windows machine. We are going to focus on the OpenJDK version. There are other versions of Java as well, but today I will demonstrate with the OpenJDK version. So what we are going to do is to first download the binary files, which will be zipped. And then we extract the files and then we set the path of the extracted files. So this path we are setting means we are going to add a path to the environmental variables. So let's begin. So I'll just go um, to the home page and then just um, download the binary. So I just googled it here. I'll just um, use this link to go there. And I'll also leave the link to this page here in the description box. So just use this link and then you can just come to the home page and download the binary. So to download, just come to this section here where my cursor is and then um, just reading it, you will just see this link called um, jdk.java.net slash 17. I think the latest was 17. That is why you have slash 17 here. So just click on this link here and then you'll be sent to another page. So on this page, you will see different versions of um, JDK here for the different operating systems. Our focus is on Windows. But let me also chip in that I have a separate tutorial that shows you how to um, install or configure um, JDK on Linux platform. So you can just watch that if you're interested. The link is in the description box. Now back to Windows. So you will download the binaries for Windows. So use this zip here. So you just click on this zip here. It's a link, a download link. So once you click on it, the download will start. Okay, so now let's wait for the download to complete. Okay, so download has been done for us. It's complete. So we will just go check it out. Mine is in my downloads. So I'll just, um, let me just open it here. So this is it. It's a zip file. And so we will need to extract the contents. So you can use WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip or any archiving tool to extract. So um, I'll do that first here. So let me just open it here and then extract the contents um, here. Okay, so it has been extracted. Uh, let me just minimize and we can see um, the extracted um, contents here. So this is the folder, it's called JDK-17 version 17 that's why it has this name so um, let's just do a quick exploration of uh, the content so open it let me go back and um, open it here and then the bi and the bin folder here this is where the java um, binaries are so you can see them somewhere here yeah you can see them here okay and um, so that's for the instruction so from here uh, we can test Java because there's binary, so you don't need to do any installation again. So you just run it straight. But then that is where we have to also look at the procedure. So at the moment, I have extracted the contents to my downloads um, folder. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is to get the folder um, or the path or uh, uh, the folder where I have the Java executable there, the Java binary there here. And so there's a folder. So I will need a path. A path is, uh, I will just say the location of this um, Java binary. So the exact location of the absolute path can be found here on this um, bar here where I've highlighted. So to get the full path, we just want to copy it. So I'll just click on an empty space on the right side here. And then once you do, you will see this, um, the path being highlighted in blue on Windows. Um, on my system, this is what I see, by the way. So I'll just copy this path here. It's very important. So I'll just copy it. Copy it um, yeah, as I've done here. And then you can now just, let's also close this here. Um, let's close this first because it might conflict with um, some programs. So let's close this one here. Just make sure you have closed uh, this archiving tool. Okay, now let's go back here. 
uh, I'm now back to my download. So from here, we can call Java anywhere we want, but you need to specify the part. You need to show where the Java is. So I will demonstrate by going to my command line. So I'll go and check on CMD. Uh, I think you can also use PowerShell also, but uh, I'm just using the uh, normal um, CMD prompts. Okay. So here, let me just type Java here first. Uh, there's nothing there. Okay. Uh, it says no, uh, it says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command it's because Windows at the moment does not know where it is. And this is where uh, we are going to um, continue from. So first of all, because we have copied the path, uh, we will just change directory to that side. So I'll say chdar and then I'll paste this path we copied there. I'll just cd to it. cd for Linux, chdar for Windows. And then from here, I can say Java. And then it's executed for us successfully. Okay, it's now done for us. Okay, so this is how uh, we do it. You open your command um, line prompts and then you just do it. I will do it again um, just so you can see it uh, again. So CMD here, I'll do chdar and then I'll just paste. It's here, then I'll just see it to it. I'll just do a Java. Okay, that's how I will do it. So just make sure you follow and get this done. And but then with the current setup we have, that means we always have to do this. We also have to do the chdar, and then we also have to now call Java and all that. And these things um, can sometimes be problematic. Okay, so to avoid that. You need to set a path. Okay, you set a path which will make it permanent. So the path um, is such that whenever we open our command line, you just need to just type Java. Let me just open a new CMD uh, window here. When you set a path, you just need to call Java like this, and then Java will be executed for us. And that is what we are going to do next. So let's close. Um, our windows here so to properly also um, organize our files it's important we place all our apps in a folder where we can easily locate them and so i'll just make sure i move it i'll do a cut and paste i'll move this to my program files um, which is in um, drive c i'm just moving it there i'll put it here program files here let me just go back uh, let me just repeat here. I will just move it. I'm doing a cut and paste. I will just cut and then I will move this to drive C program fast. But you can also put it anywhere you want. It's fine. It just needs to be done. And please make sure you are also running as an administrator because um, some of the commands or setups will demand you have admin rights. Um, so on the program files, um, I don't see any Java folder here, so I'll just create a Java folder here. So let me say new folder. Uh, of course, I think I'll be asked to give permission. Um, so I'll just say Java. I'll just do it here. So in this folder Java, which I've opened now, I'll paste my JDK here. Okay, I need permission. I'll just continue. I'll paste it there. Okay, so I'll now paste it. It has been done. So let's open this again. Open the bin. And then let's get the path again here. The path has not changed because we have moved and uh, we have moved uh, the folder we extracted to a different location. So there's the new path. So I'll just copy it here. I'll copy this part here, okay, or the location. So now we have this done. Let's go back to Java folder here. And so what we are going to do is now go to the environmental variables and then just uh, set it up there. You move, you have to put the path in the environmental variable so that Windows will now then um, put that address or that location in, in memory, in record, so that you don't have to specify that anytime. So to do that, to set the environmental variables, to set it up, 
um, with the path here, we we'll just go to this PC. This PC here, and I'll just right click anywhere and go to properties. Yeah, let me just check here. Proper so properties here, we can now go to advanced system settings here. And then there's the environment, environmental variables. Um, let me close it. Let me also show you another way. If you don't um, use this, you can also come to control panel. I'm just showing you um, that which is control panel here. And then on the control panel, I think this one, let's change to small icons. And then let's come to system. This one is um, a longer process, but uh, just try any of those, it will also be fine. So on system here, just come to scroll down and then come to advanced system settings. And then you will still be sent to the same window here. Okay, so these are the two approaches to get to the environmental variables. So here, click on the environmental variables. And then you see this here, okay. So here you will add to this path, this one here. So that is what we are going to do. So just click on this part here, make sure it's highlighted, and then come to edit. And then add, let's go to um, new. Go to new and then paste your path here, the one you copied. Okay, the one you copied and when you move the um, JDK um, content, the binaries. So new and then you paste here. So you paste it there and now you can now say okay. You can now say okay here again. Uh, you can now say okay. Uh, you don't need this, you can close it. Um, let's close this one also here. So from here, let's open a new command line prompt. And then you'll see um, what we've done so far. Okay, so now when you type Java, everything is done for you successfully. Okay, so this is very quick and simple. So from here, if this is Java, Java as this one, it will also be done for you uh, here. So I mean, these are all the, if it's Java, uh, version, let me see. Yeah, it's also done for you as well. So um, that's how we do it. So using these uh, instructions, you'll be able to set up your uh, Java using the OpenJDK version on Windows. So I believe this has been helpful and you'll be able to uh, reproduce and also set up your Java. Okay, it's important to learn this because some tools and applications um, run using Java. And so once you set up Java, it becomes easy to install some of these bioinformatics tools like Brick and then Atomis. So once you've done all this, you can just install those tools as well. So let me also get your comments and then we have some discussions going on. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.